here's the second video in my 3d printing journey and in this video i will try to explain you how i set up my printer and how i got my first 3d prints so let's begin with the 3d resin printing after unboxing your printer you have to put it in a ventilated area well ventilated area and you have to power it on there's a power adapter you can just plug it behind the printer and you will see these three options pop up on the screen first option is print system and tools at first i was exploring these things but in the manual there was some instructions so i followed those instru instructions and i will tell you those instructions in very simple ways a 3d resin printer is almost pre-assembled we don't have to do much as compared to the fdm printers by going on to the tool then move z you will see these options and you just have to basically move the z axis up you can press on 10 mm button which will be there and you just press the up arrow your print head will move up you have to press up button two three times to get a get the print head in a good position to place your print bed after that you just have to remove the screen protector and with the allen winches you have to loosen the bolts on the print bed like this then loosen the nut which is on the top and just place the print bit carefully to that slot and just turn it tight make sure it's tight and use this paper which is provided in the box and place that paper onto the screen below like this and just press home button which you will be able to see under 10 mm button press the home button and the print head will move down slowly like this with two fingers you can push the print bed a little then tighten up the nuts And you will see that there's a little friction between the screen and the print bed that is mandatory to maintain the, there must be a little friction not like tight or loose then just go back and there's a button which calls Z equals to zero we have to set this position as a zero position then just enter then printer will remember this position as a zero position it will he will the printer will start printing from that point as a zero in the grid if you see it will start printing from the zero then i have tested the detection the led lights uh, the uv light which are there in the printer you can test them also there's an instruction in the manual you can follow that also or you can just go to that prediction button and you will just you can just play with the lights if you want so it's it's working quite good let's move forward and i hope with the leveling of print bed i think we are almost done we just have to pour the resin into the resin vat and just start printing there's a file already in the pen drive so this is the resin vat i'm just placing it in its position Make sure the nuts are tied to the both side of the resin vat. Then we will just take the pen drive. There is file already inside it and there is a USB port. We can just plug the pen drive into the USB port. And we will see by going on to the print option, we will see that there is a file. We can just press the play button but not right now because the cover is open and there is no resin into that resin vat that's why the printer is showing that error so here is the resin it's a uh, any cubic one kg gray resin you have to shake it a little before using it and there's marking on the resin vat there's marking 140 ml 180 ml 220 ml and max 
Before handling the resin, make sure to wear the gloves which are already provided or you can buy them separately. These are nitrile gloves. Open your resin bottle and just pour the resin into the resin vat carefully. Up to 140 ml. At first I pour around 140 ml because I was not sure that will be enough or not but it's quite enough to print many prints then just then place the lid of the printer carefully and you can just go to your file and press the play button press it now you will see there's layer count and time estimated time the layer count was 1481 and estimated time was around 4 hours so the printing took around 4 hours to print but I will fast forward this part so I have started my first printing like this and it started to print let's see what will be the result and it's showing that first layer is getting exposed and usually you will notice that first layer is getting exposed for a longer time so that the whole print can stick well to the print bed now it's around 515 layers and showing two and a half hours more 34 percent of the print is ready but we are still not able to see that now we can see our print and it's looking good i think it's looking good it's looking very good so in assembling there was nothing we just have to level our print bed and we just have to put the resin vat and pour some resin into it and prepare a file but for us, Anycubic has already prepared a file. We just have to place that pen drive into the pen drive USB port and we can just print this model. After that, the journey begins because after that you have to get the files, prepare the files and start printing other files. That is where you will see fail prints, which I have seen a lot and it's almost 96%. We are almost done and the print is looking quite good. So here's the print. Eight minutes remaining, 96%. A few moments later when your print get finished the print bed will automatically move up you can see it took around 4 hours 28 minutes a few moments later I prepared my tools make sure you are wearing gloves but I like to wear gloves in one hand and I let my other hand be free to pick up the things with my clean hands. And with the metal spatula you can just remove the print. At first I immediately removed the print, tried to removing the print and the print fell off from my table. Now you can just place the print bed again and tighten the screws and just cover it so that your UV uh, so that your resin don't get cured or don't get in the contact with UV UV light. I'm sh I'm shaking it a little, forcing if there is any leftover in the resin vat. Now it's time to wash your 3D prints and I have got this small little box or you can say bottle. I just poured alcohol into it and just shake, put my print, print in the alcohol and shake it a little. 
and you can see your print is ready just let just let it dry for few minutes the alcohol will vaporize and see your print is ready and my print is was ready at that time i was quite happy with the results and i hope you you also start your printing journey quite soon then i let some sunlight get inside and here is the print this is the next model which i have tried and it was a horrible failure because i didn't know how to prepare a file how to like prepare other models i was just started i just started to print a model downloaded from internet and it got failed so stay tuned for the future resin printing videos which i will be continuously posting see you soon in the next video thanks for watching the full video